Hi everyone, it's Natasha and thank you for watching my video and welcome to my channel. So if you're new to my channel and my videos, I typically just share my personal experiences in regards to using products or, excuse me, um, experiencing um, services and companies. So I want to talk about NARS. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, and this is in the shade Devel. Right there. Um, this is supposed to be full coverage. If not, I think it was supposed to be medium to full, or I think it was, it's just supposed to be full coverage. Um, I'll start with the cons. The cons of this is the, or maybe it's just my bottle. This top right here. I thought it was broken when I first got it because I was shaking it and a third of it exploded, exploded out. Um, I think it was like the fifth time I used it. It's really weird why it did that. And ever since then, I always kind of double check that, that this is intact. Like this just flew off the bottle and a third of it, a third of it flew with it. Um, and that was a complete mess. I. I don't know why, but so in, in my bathroom where I use this, well, all my bathrooms, um, we have that kind of sink that looks like a counter. And so when this foundation exploded and just flew everywhere, it was all over the mirror. It was on the sink, on the faucet, um, on the counter, on anything that was on top of the sink, on the side of the sink, on the front of the side and the side of the the sink as well on the wall on the door it was literally everywhere also on the floor and i think it hit my my um hand towel that was on the side and it was like two feet away i never would have imagined it would do that but it did so that's a big con for me it could have just been um not securely put on there when it was shipped and delivered to me because i would never think to want to open it you know but ever since then i've been very worried about it um another con is it's sheer your first layer is going to be somewhat sheer um more sheer to medium it's kind of like a sheer to medium but it's more sheer than medium i don't really have a lot of issues with my skin um, I have like large pores right here and um, I like I like putting foundation on a lot of times because I just I just like looking a little bit more polished and girly but I don't really need a lot of stuff going on I mean I don't have a lot of stuff going on on my skin so my skin was just you know I, I have rosy cheeks that's naturally what I have um, a little bit of uneven skin tone just a little bit um, that's pretty much it I think so I just like something that you know kind of evens it completely I just like even though spec that's different it just kind of drives me crazy so that's what I use this for and I use foundation for um, I don't know how well this will work if you have any kind of acne scarring or um, pimples or acne because I don't have that. So I can't really share that information. Um, I, I usually like watching videos that have ter like, like people who make reviews on makeup or like foundation that have really horrible skin because then you can see how in-depth the coverage is for the for the makeup for me this is buildable this is very buildable i have tried it i have tried building it up and it doesn't look bad at all um so that's a that's a pro in there i'm trying to think of another con um aside from it being more sheer than really medium or full even it's actually more sheer so you do have to add more layer to it so in the long run it is not really economical if that's what you're thinking of price wise I think this is $49 if I'm not mistaken before taxes um, I think that's the only 
con that I can think of or cons that I can think of. Pros, it is very lightweight. I have tried it in one layer and two layers. I don't remember if I tried it in three layers. Um, I do, I've do. i used this without a primer, without powder, and without finishing spray. I have also used this with a primer, without a powder, without a finishing spray. I've used this with a primer and powder. I've used this with a primer and setting spray, and I've used this with all three. Um, if you have very oily skin, you have to do a primer that has oil control. You have to do a, a press um, a powder on it, and you also have to do a setting spray because if you don't, if you don't do all three, it will melt off in probably four hours. It will just disappear. <laughs> um, the oiliest part of my face is right here on my nose like right here so when I didn't do any of those three it melted right here like it just disappeared it just melted off I don't know where it went it just disappeared um, when I did without the powder it was like um, where my pores were that that's where it kind of disappeared and it was all patchy and gross looking to me so from me from experimenting on how to put this on and what to pair it with um i'm gonna link what i'm using down below just so for, for reference so um because i use this you really have to use this with the setting spray and all that stuff because if not this will kind of just disappear in a few hours especially for early skin um, for our, I think I, well, it was like four to five hours for me for that spot. Um, it you can kind of feel it on your on your fingers too a little bit because I was like touching my face to see if it would come off. It won't necessarily come off completely when you're doing that, but it does transfer when I did that without any kind of protection of the setting spray or the powder. So with everything i mean when you wear this you do have to use a setting spray a powder and a primer in my experience in my opinion um when i do use all of that it is very lightweight it feels like i'm not wearing any makeup but the but just to be fair the only foundation that i did feel like oh my gosh this is so heavy um i can really tell that i have like extremely thick makeup was the Estee Lauder Double Wear, our Stay in Place Double Wear, is that what it's called? Um, I used that and oh my gosh, it just felt like there was just thick, thick foundation on there. I felt the same way with when I used Revlon Color Stay, it was the same. It was just heavy duty, but it was like full coverage, but heavy duty. <laughs> Um, so I, I didn't like that, but this is probably one of the lightest, lightest foundations I've used. And, um, I've actually, actually accidentally slept in this and it didn't go, it didn't go to my blankets. It didn't go to my pillow. But again, I used everything. I used as a setting spray, the powder and the primer. Um, do I recommend this? Yes. Completely 100%. Just so you're aware, when you do buy this, it is going to be somewhat expensive because of the fact that you will be using a lot more of the of the product. It it says here this this has a 24 month shelf life. So the moment you open it, you're gonna count count down to 24 months from that, and that's when you have to either finish it up or you're gonna throw it out. This one I think I bought this this year, so. Um, it's almost gone when I used it today. It just, it's, I don't know if you could hear it, but it's barely, barely anything in there, I think. Yeah, because it's like, it's like a loud, loud, uh, like it, it sounds really loud. The louder it gets, the more you know that there's more air in there and less product. So, 
Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, watching my video, and stopping by my channel. I hope you watch my other videos as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, I love getting your comments down below as well. Check out the, um, if you're interested in what I'm wearing today, like on my face, I'm going to put all the links down below so you guys can check it out and um, probably want to purchase them. So thank you so much again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.